What up, everybody? It's Kurt. I'm Josh, and we are Flostradamus. Uh, our sound currently is a, a mix between dance music and rap music. We're just trying to like occupy some territory between there uh, and basically make rap music instrumentals that you can play at festivals. Being in the rap world and, and dressing the way that we dress is kind of strange. Like people a lot of times in the rap world that I've like encountered will say like, yo, you look, you look different. Athletic gear in general for us is good because we're up on stage like running and sweating and like going so hard. So it's actually like functional as well as the stylistic you know, for us. The hottest fashion when I started DJing, real talk, was Jinkos. Jinkos are really wide leg pants. Like they made these massive pants where you couldn't even see your your feet underneath them. They were so big, but they weren't like bell bottoms. They were like that wide the whole <laughs> way down. So when I started DJing, it was it was drum and bass. It was actually called Jungle at the time, and it, people would wear camo UFOs. And UFOs are the same thing, but just for people who listen to Jungle, pretty much. It was like they had cargo pockets, and they had these long tassels that came out, and you could like tie them up and bunch one of the legs up. So uh, just to describe my basic outfit right now, I got uh, the bucket hat from ASOS to go to some accessories. Your boy's got the iPhone case from Thailand. This shit's HD, 3D, tribal. I got the bondage harness from a place called Leather Sport in Chicago. I like to appropriate gear. We try and incorporate elements of like hip hop style, where it's like Tim's or, or whatever, or slides or whatever it might be. And then also like bringing things from our world and all different influences together. I started wearing jerseys. I started wearing like racing jerseys, like going out and like wearing them and, and then Kurt started rocking them. And I was like, I'm gonna I'm call us the like Fox Raven crew. I got the shorts from a dollar store in London. And then I got the Nike freeze on. We're like not just competitive with each other, but like we're also like trying to like one up each other yeah, on like the yeah. skis. So he'll do one thing and I'm like, oh, okay, you got some slides? All right. <laughs> the thing that I've been like really into lately is grills. And I want to get like all sorts of crazy grills. I want to get like our logo put in it and stuff. Keep it rose gold. Got the chain rose gold. Got the watch rose gold. Everything's rose gold right now. On top right here, my hat. I got the Flostradamus limited edition. Yeah, and for me with all the like, all the jerseys and stuff, like I liked having as many logos as possible on anything. And then also I like to have just anything that's like HD. I got this at a thrift store for real though. It has a bucket hat to match and some shorts. I mean, my favorite place to shop always, and it always has been, is the thrift store for real though. Yeah, next thing we got going down to the feet. Got the flaming Hot Cheeto socks. And to top it off, I got the Nike's Carbon Fiber Edition slides from Lady Foot Locker. I'm not embarrassed, the ladies' editions, but I had to get them bigger. I'm gonna try to stay 1080p, but I'm gonna try to stay a little Asian influence. I feel like the Asian stuff's gonna be coming up here soon too. I miss all over print. Like, I, I really like that, like, era in streetwear where it was all over print everything, but I feel like now this generation's all over print is gonna be like a photograph. Like, you're gonna fucking look like a photograph head to toe. 